What is the biggest surprise since becoming a new dad? Lack of social life, I think, goes down. <laughs> And it sounds like you transformed a pretty well-known building in your hometown, is that correct? Yeah, you really did your homework. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs>Hello and welcome to New in Blue. I'm Gabby Shirley and I am joined by Tampa Bay Lightning defenseman Calvin DeHaan. Calvin, first and foremost, thank you so much for being here with us. We're really excited to have you at one of the most iconic sports bars <laughs> here in the city of Tampa. Heard about it. Never Heard been. about it. Never, never been. been. Yeah. Hattricks yeah. has actually been around since 1997, which is five years after the Tampa Bay Lightning joined the National Hockey League. That is true, yeah. So it's seen plenty of seasons, moments, Plenty of players sitting in these exact seats. <laughs> yeah. What's your initial impression of this place? It's almost like a museum in here. You know, it's kind of cool having all the old pucks and jerseys and you know stuff from players before myself. And it's uh, it's a great great little watering hole for sure. So you're new to this bar, but you're not totally new to the city of Tampa. Coming here countless times throughout your NHL career, but now that you live here, has your perception of this city changed at all? Uh, yeah, it's, I mean, it's always a good road city to come to when it's nice and warm out, you know, you don't have to pack a winter coat. It's, uh, that's always a plus, but, um, you know, I'm excited to explore the city a little bit and, um, you know, and become a little bit more cultured around the area. And, um, but it's just changed so much around the rink over the years. It's, uh, it's nice to see. And, um, every, my wife and I are looking forward to, to the season for sure. Now you moved here with your family, your wife, Brittany, and your son who is five months old. That's correct. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about them? Uh, yeah, I kind of am at a loss of words when I talk about Britt, but uh, you know, we're best friends and um, you know, she's been with me for a long time and throughout my whole NHL career. So been through the thick and thin of things of uh, being a hockey player and I'm pretty fortunate to have uh, a lady like herself in my life. And um, you know, she's, uh, she's the best. So, and uh, our newborn Wesley is, uh, you know, you can read every book and uh, watch every video you c on YouTube and all that kind of stuff on how to prepare for parenting. But you know that that gets all tossed out the window as soon as you as soon as your child comes. But mm. he's been a lot of fun. Um, you know, he's getting to a point now where it's uh, a lot more fun for myself. I'm not so much Brit's right hand man to to do things, but uh, you know now I can contribute a little bit more with him and, and his life. So it's. It's, it's becoming fun. He's, uh, you know, smiling and laughing now and rolling over and all that kind of stuff. So not quite talking yet, but we'll get there. So <laughs> what is the biggest surprise since becoming a new dad? Oh, man, just lack of social life, I think, goes down. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's crazy. It's like everything's on his schedule now, really. So we had a lot of fun this summer, but um, at the same time, we look back on it and didn't do too much. You know, we we're going to bed at like eight, nine o'clock and <laughs> trying to catch up on sleep because he's uh, he's a lot of work. So. Um, but it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. During the off season, I believe I read that you're typically home in your hometown of Carp. Yeah, yeah, so I grew up in Carp, Ontario. It's just a suburb outside of Ottawa, just a little, little hillbilly town. I also learned that you own a brewery with three of your childhood friends in your hometown, is that correct? Yeah, yeah, so. Can um, you take us through that acquisition? Yeah, so uh, we're coming up on our fifth year anniversary at the end of September, so. You know, we were kind of just sitting here like you and I one day and <laughs> we were just like, hey, let's let's try it. And yeah, the rest is history, really. So <laughs> it's it's been fun, though. It's cool. Like it's uh, it's nice to be a part of something like that. And um, we wanted to, you know, plant the roots as a, an established watering hole in the local community. And, um, you know, I think we're, we've done that. So it's been it's been fun and the community has been great as well. And it sounds like you transformed a pretty well-known building in your hometown, is that correct? Yeah, you really did your homework. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> um, was that important to you though in building this brewery? Well, the building was always there. It was, you know, it needed needed some lipstick on a pig more or less. And, <laughs> uh, you know, it's just been everything over the years. Part of the Trans-Canada Highway used to run through our little town like way back when there's horse and buggies and um, when cars were first getting invented and all that kind of stuff. So it was a bus depot for the city buses and, and like Greyhounds going through. And yeah, it's crazy. It was like a gas station back in the day too. And now it's a brewery <laughs> and, and restaurant. So uh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's got a lot of stripes, that's for sure. Are there any touches of your NHL career 
in that building. Oh, I got a jersey hanging up in there. That's really about it. But, you know, we don't want to necessarily turn it into a, you know, a sports bar, but it, it, we just want it to be a, a local watering hole where people can go on a date or go out with the boys and, you know, do that kind of thing. So that's kind of just how we portray it. And but I, I do need to get a new jersey now, so. <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah. Yes, you do. So we talked about what you do during the off season. During the season, you're away from your family a lot with your second family now the Tampa Bay Lightning. Why did you choose to come to this organization? I've been around the league now a little bit and uh, you know you only hear nothing but good things about this organization and, and this, the area and um, so it, it was kind of a no-brainer for myself. The atmosphere is great and frankly it's one of my favorite buildings to play in on the road for sure. You know you, you don't necessarily think of Tampa Bay as a hockey town but I, I think it is. <laughs> Have you interacted with your head coach much yet? Uh, no, not really. We played a little bit of phone tag a week ago and that's about it. But um, I played for Coop actually at the World Championships. Uh, man, this was a long time ago. I'm old now. Oh boy. This was five, six years ago, I think. So, so I played for him for Team Canada the one year. And um, so I, I always respected him and I still do. And I think that, uh, you know, having a, a guy like him at the, at the helm to, you know, just guide the team in the right direction is obviously, you know, it's a, a good card to have in your hand. I'm putting you on the spot, but do you have any good John Cooper stories for us from that time? None that I can say. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no, right. no, not off the top of my head. I'm just, I'm just joking. But maybe, I don't know, might have to dig deep into the archives and maybe I'll remember something. But not off the top of my head. All right, we're gonna circle back on that one. <laughs> yeah. um, players on this team, any connections? Have you played with them before? Do you know them? Uh, I played with Brandon Hagel in Chicago and mm -hmm. Hayden Fleury in my first uh, stint in Carolina. That's that's it really. So I played with Braden Point at the World Championships, and but he was just he was young. He was really young at that time. So, um, but that's that's it really. What are you most looking forward to for the start of this season? Oh, I don't know. That's a tough question. I'm just looking forward to getting back on the ice. It's you know it's a, it was a short summer, but the, it's also long at the same time. Like it, the dog days start to catch up at some point. So just looking forward to getting back into the swing of things, and you know it's. Uh, you know, you get to a point where you just kind of want to get the season going. So I can probably speak on behalf of my teammates as well that everyone's in that in that same boat. All right, Calvin, we have a special delivery coming your way here. One of the owners of the restaurant, Dave, is bringing over some wings. Dave, you got to tell us about them because they are uh, pretty famous. Look at that fancy pretzel, too. And look uh, at this pretzel. That pretzel's pretty cool, right? Yeah. Uh, those are the Dave's Way wings. So what that is, is our traditional lightning sauce, tossed, baked in a high heat oven, and then retossed in our house-made garlic farm. They are absolutely perfect. How long have these been around? Uh, they've, they've been on the menu for a little bit. They used to be a secret, not a secret anymore. No, no. <laughs> All right, well, thank you very much. So before we try these, we're gonna do a lightning round, the lightning round. Okay. And I'm gonna say this or that, and you just have to tell me your preference. So in the spirit of being here at Hatrix with wings in front of us, flats or drums? Oh, I, it's funny. My wife always eats the flat, so I get stuck with the drums, so drums. <laughs> sweet or spicy? Uh, sweet. Blue cheese or ranch? Ranch. Oh, wow, didn't didn't have was, to think twice that about that. That was quick, okay. Yeah. If you're going out to sports bar, your bar, are you dressing up or dressing down? Dressing down. If you're dressing down, hat or no hat? Oh, it depends on uh, the humidity out there. My hair gets pretty thick, so it puffs out a little bit, so. So here in Florida? <laughs> Probably hat, but I got a haircut last week, so no hat today. <laughs> <laughs> also in Florida, are you sitting outside or sitting inside? Depends what time of day. <laughs> uh, We'll go, we'll go inside for the afternoon and then evenings outside. Are you leaving first or leaving last? Uh, last prior to Wesley, first now because of Wesley. <laughs> All right, so on that yeah. note, you're out of here. Yeah, I got a time crunch. <laughs> Just kidding. I think you got to try these. I know, I will. So you're wait, doing... I'm going drum. You're going drum. All right, so I got to do a flat. Okay, wait. Okay, the ranch is nice and thick, so that's good. Homemade? Wait, you yeah. got to cheers me. Oh, shoot, sorry. There you go. All right, Cheers. I guess I gotta go blue cheese. Yeah, these are good.